Player 2 has entered the game. Welcome to WatchMojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 British video game developers. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be focusing on the most impressive and significant video game developers from Britain, both past and present. Number 10, Sports Interactive. We're starting with a typically British brand of gaming here, as Sports Interactive is famously known for creating the extremely addictive Championship Manager and Football Manager. Essentially just focusing on football titles, SI didn't just make this list for creating a decent footy manager simulator. They made it because they've bossed that section of the market since its first Champ Man game 25 years ago. And it all started from someone's bedroom. The company's success ultimately led them to become a subsidiary of Sega in 2003. Number 9. Media Molecule A company made up of ex-Lionhead Studios employees, we'll get to Lionhead later, it took just four years after starting up in 2006 for Media Molecule to become a branch of Sony Computer Entertainment. What game clinched it for them? Well, their first game actually, the multi-award winning, fun-loving Little Big Planet. Following up with other titles like Tearaway, it was their LBP franchise that really made a splash. Being a totally original concept and an undeniable game changer, it influenced future releases on the PS3 and many puzzle and platform games that followed. Number 8. Creative Assembly This is another example of a company finding its perfect niche. After releasing various games in different genres, Battle Strategy eventually became Creative Assembly's bread and butter, with its Total War series setting the benchmark for Battlefield Simulation. And the first game in the franchise, Shogun Total War, is still regarded as one of the best strategy games out there. Over the last few years, however, the developer has surprised gamers everywhere by branching out, with titles like the claustrophobic Alien Isolation and epic Halo Wars 2. Number 7. Rocksteady Studios Batman has had a turbulent history in the world of video games, with some great and some not so great entries. But Rocksteady's Batman Arkham series surpassed expectations. You're supposed to be dead! Established in 2004, Rocksteady hasn't been that active, with its only other exploration being Urban Chaos Riot Response in 2006. But it seems Rocksteady were biding their time, waiting to release what is arguably the best handful of Batman video games ever made. If you want to know how to make a successful superhero game that thrives off its source material, come to these guys. Why? 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 <laughs> Number 6. Criterion Games There's an abundance of British developers that have made great driving games. Codemasters, Bizarre Creations, Evolution Studios but our vote goes to Criterion Games. Sure, they've made the likes of Black in 2006, Deep Fighter in 2000, and remember 2001's Airblade? But they'll always be known for their Crash, Smash, Adrenaline-soaked Burnout series, as well as their Need for Speed editions. Burnout in particular showed gamers that crashing was sometimes just as fun as winning. Criterion also recently collaborated with DICE to create Star Wars Battlefront 2. Number 5. Free Radical Design Now dissolved, although technically rebirthed as Dan Buster Studios in 2014, Free Radical Design made its name with the popular Time Splitters series that began back in the year 2000. It also produced games like Second Sight, and after it was taken over and became Crytek UK, Crisis 2 and Crisis 3. Unfortunately, the flop of the game Haze and the cancellation of Star Wars Battlefront 3 sent the developer into bankruptcy. Hopefully, we will see it live on through Dan Buster. For every high, there's a low. Now, I'm fighting back. Number 4. Traveller's Tales Boom, boom, boom. It's easy to forget just how popular and influential Traveller's Tales has been over the years, especially given its high number of kids games and recent monopoly of LEGO in gaming. We shall be the fellowship of it! But it's created some brilliant mascot-fronted classics, with games in the Sonic, Crash Bandicoot, and Spyro the Dragon franchises. It's even got Disney titles like A Bug's Life, Finding Nemo, and Toy Story under its belt. For many, it's a developer that defined their childhood, and it's still going strong. Yeehaw! Number 3. 
Lionhead Studios. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. Chances are, if you've played games by this developer, you won't have merely dipped your toe. You'll have gone full curtains closed, 24-hour gaming, snacks and all, because it's responsible for epics like Fable and Black and White. Yes, the seemingly endless, immersive world of the Fable franchise and Lionhead's horse in the ever-expanding role-playing genre. There's a good lad. Its Black and White series, where you play the Hand of God, has proved a popular strategy sim as well. But let's not forget its take on the film industry with the movies. Number 2, Rockstar North. Suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. This developer has evolved into greatness, starting out as Acme Software, then becoming DMA Design, and finally in 2001, Rockstar North. Its 90s days saw it release a flurry of Lemmings games before establishing itself as a powerhouse with Grand Theft Auto in 1997. <laughs> Since then, it's took its smash-and-grab GTA formula and spawned an entire legacy of games, helping produce titles like L.A. Noir, Red Dead Redemption, and of course, spearheading the highly controversial Manhunt. Its releases read like a who's who of glorious gaming ultraviolence. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Hey fam, remember you're a big deal here, and other races want to drive with you. Number 1, Rare. It may not be the heavyweight it once was, but there's no denying what Rare has done for the gaming industry, with colossal titles like Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong Country, and oh, a little game called GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64. In many ways, Rare has set the frameworks and benchmarks for a series of different games over the years, with makers everywhere trying to emulate the addictiveness of its games, like GoldenEye's enthralling multiplayer format. Rare is a legendary developer, and one well-deserving of this list's top spot. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.